In this video we're going to talk about how you can uh, refresh a row uh, in a grid and how you can force a, uh, a child grid to refresh a uh, row in the parent grid. So you can see here we have a, uh, uh, a grid uh, on the customer table and then we also have uh, linked content sections showing a uh, grid from the uh, invoice table and you can see that for each row in the uh, in the customer table we're showing the um, the linked rows uh, in the uh, the, uh, the, the uh, invoice uh, header table so you can see here uh, the way we did that was we went to properties and we defined a uh, linked content definition and uh, uh, you can see here that the linked content is uh, grid invoices um, and then what we've done is we've actually put um, a button uh, in the uh, toolbar uh, over here. You can see that we've got uh, we've actually got two buttons, one called refresh and one called uh, refresh grid. If we go look at the definition of that, this first uh, button over here calls the um, refresh row method. So this is going to refresh the current row in the grid and this second action basically calls the refresh method to refresh the entire grid. So um, obviously uh, uh, this is just uh, a, a simple situation here. So if we go now and we run this grid uh, and now we go to the underlying table that this grid is based on and I change that to say Carrillo Systems number 2 over there and then I press um, the refresh button over here, refresh row, you can see that it re refreshes over there. So um, that basically just demonstrates that uh, that a grid has a refresh row method. So now basically let's talk about how um, a an event in the child grid can force um, uh, the parent grid to refresh. So I'm going to go here and uh, make a change there. I'll change that to say career systems uh, number three now. And instead of pressing this button in the uh, parent in 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 the the parent grid, I'm going to press this button in the child grid here called refresh parent grid row. So let's go ahead now and press that. And in my JavaScript, I happen to have that uh, alert there. So it says we will now. Uh, will now refresh uh, row 1 so there we go and there's row 1 def uh, defined so now let's go look at how this button over here was defined so we'll go to the, the uh, invoices grid and we'll go over there to uh, properties and we'll look at um, the action button over there and uh, let's look at um, this one pa uh, the parent row grid and here you go uh, so there was our alert um, with a typo and um, you can see that what we're doing in this um, in this JavaScript over here is the first thing that we do is we get a pointer to the parent grid so if you go here to grid methods you'll see that there's a method here called get parent object so uh, so now we have a JavaScript variable called parent grid which now points uh, to the parent grid. Uh, so this is the parent grid of the current grid, which uh, in this case is the grid based on invoice header. And uh, let's just remove the alert. Um, and then we're just simply calling the um, uh, refresh row uh, method of the parent grid. And then, of course, we've also get the row number on the parent grid by doing parent grid dot under bar selected row. So this tells us what row number is uh, the current row number in the parent grid and then we call the parent grid's refresh row method. So let's just um, uh, look at that uh, in action again. I'll, I'll pause here and pick it up in the next video.